Hey guys, it's Mitch here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to address some questions and comments that I've had about my Alsobia dianthiflora. So I wanted to do a little update. This is the plant that I repotted in the fall this past year. And I've had quite a few questions and comments about this plant. So I did want to post a little update for everybody because it is kind of a cool plant that I don't see a lot of um, information on or a lot of videos about and it is quite pretty and easy to grow. Please excuse the color. I don't know what's going on because these leaves are really not so yellow. I think like even when I put my hand beside it, it changes the tone. But I think uh, the camera is distorting the color on this because it's actually a really deep green. I mean some of the new leaves are a lighter green but not quite what the camera is uh, changing the colors to. So yeah I'm not sure what's going on there because even this leaf in real life is is just green but anyway I think this is just one of those tones that cameras will uh, distort anyway this is what the plant looks like now i think it's been about three months since i repotted it so you can see it's starting to grow out some new tendrils that are starting to dangle down i did move it from that spot and put it on this little plant stand so that they can dangle down and it's in a southeast window where it gets a few hours of direct sunshine a day but it's quite far back like three four feet from the window so it's not like super hot direct sun and that's kind of what it likes um, i know some people ask me about uh, growing these under lights and i did grow them quite well under lights but i did have issues with them in that they don't really like the higher temperatures i found that are usually in the grow light environment and the drier kind of climate they do like it a little bit like more room temperature and you know 50% humidity at least and uh, you need to keep on top of the watering anyway other than that it's pretty easy to grow as the days get longer now in the spring towards the summer it will start to send out little blooms at each of these little um, plantlets and like I showed you in my last video which I'll tag down below it is really easy to propagate because you can just break off each of these little plantlets and plant them and they will very easily root and grow. It has these nice really fuzzy leaves with a little purple strip down the middle. Again the camera is really changing the color because it's more like a forest green not this uh, bright bright green that you're seeing on the camera right now. And it is in the same family as African violets, so it does like similar conditions to African violets, and it does grow really, really well in the home. Anyway, that's my video for today. If you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to message me. I'm always happy to answer your questions, and thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.